Right guys, long time no see. So I've basically took time out because I've lost my mojo, lost all the will to build, the build to RC, anything. I just haven't had to get up and go to get into it. But uh, last few days I've been finding my mojo again and cracking on with my dad's Scania and starting to get all this first coats and stuff. Ready for lacquer, it's been primed, cab's primed. Uh, it's just had one coat of blue. Now I'm doing this early in the morning before the sun gets up because when it gets too hot, the paint's just drying before it even touches what I'm painting, which isn't good. So, I'm just on with basically I've got all the lower half of the Scania truck here because the cab, the roof, and like the higher half of the cab that's all going a different colour so I'll do all that separate because I need my interior and things to do in that so for now I'm just on with painting this up I'm going to be giving it second coat in this blue it's usual Holt spray that I use and this is HD blue or 3 and it's turned out a nice blue it'll look better once it gets some sheen and some lacquer on there but yeah as I was saying I've got to do it early in the mornings because the sun is just too hot and maybe little bits in the evenings but I'm finding my spirit, getting my mojo, getting back into it so let's get this sprayed and finished and I do hope everyone is actually enjoying this sunshine, it's lovely I'm sick of hearing people whinging about the fucking sun oh, it's too hot, it's too hot, it's too hot no it's not too hot, it just pusses so scan your time so I've just give these dust off with a microfiber cloth and the rest of the parts I've just got these out of the way so I'll bring them up like one lot of helping hands at a time basically just so any overspray that's blowing about because of the temperature that overspray is going to settle and it's going to leave a rough edging or surface if you will which then means it's going to be required to be flattened down and it just requires more time and effort so I'll proceed now get all these parts done maybe leave them 15-20 minutes and then we'll come out with some lacquer and start building up some lacquer coats and it should look pretty cool just before I do start as you've noticed on my first coat I spray the backs of everything as well as the fronts there's a lot of people you see they'll just spray the fronts so you end up with the white backs so when you're actually looking into your chassis you see the back of the skirts aren't painted and things like that behind the bumpers I literally paint the whole part but where I do behind that just gets the one coat and then the rest of it is just more coats up on the fronts where you're actually like visually looking at the paint job so this can's like shook up ready to go I'll just go and pop that in the house now, out of the way to dry, and I shall repeat this for the rest of it. Inside the steps here, where uh, it's a little bit fiddly. So we'll give 
them 10-15 minutes in the house in a nice warm room everywhere's warm at the minute country's on fire um, then we'll come out hit it with this auto tech clear lacquer I've been using this lacquer for a while now compared to the Holtz lacquer I actually prefer this lacquer sprays nice nice coverage it does the job so give it like I say 10-15 minutes we'll come back out and then we'll lacquer up those blue parts so I'm just going to repeat this process now with a lacquer and then again another 10-15 minutes back out second coat of lacquer see how the shine is possibly a third coat for a second coat on this Fifteen minutes or so, and we'll have third coat of lacquer, and then that should just give it enough shine where it's looking nice. But apart from that, tip top. So we'll get them a um, final coat of lacquer on there. We'll have a look at the parts, see how they've come out, and I'll do another video when I put it together and spray the rest. So it starts giving you a few more videos on the trucks again, doesn't it? So, dry time. So I'm just going to give all parts a quick third and final coat now. And then we'll take a look at them. painted blue all the lower half of the truck it's had three coats of lacquer two coats of blue so I'm gonna give it 20 minutes or so and then I'll bring stuff out we'll have a little look at them and then they can go back in a box and I'm gonna leave them in a nice warm spot and I'll check them over the next couple of days and within the next couple of days I'll do another video and then I'll construct the bottom of the truck because I don't even know if I've done that yet as far as the manual goes for the Scania build so We'll get them on and uh, little bits and bats all put together and then we can start making progress on the upper half of the cab which is the actual cab and interior and roof and fenders and bits and bats like that. So yeah anyway, I'll check back in 20 minutes or so, we'll have a look see at the parts. So there's all the parts, sprayed up, three coats of lacquer, they're looking nice and glossy. I'm not really a fan of spraying outside because of dust and everything that blows about in the air 
up the loft. Whew. Wow, it's too hot for spraying in there. Second you let the spray out the nozzle, it's just pss, dry. So, early mornings and evenings for spraying when temperature drops. I can get all this back in the house now, put a lid on this box, and then it can all dry. So, I hope you all like the video anyway. Might be a bit boring to some of you, some of you might find it interesting. But anyway, yeah, if you're not already subscribed, subscribe, hit that like button, smash that notification bell, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Ciao for now, guys.